If you take a look on these two renders, you would most likely assume that the render on the left has more light objects than the render on the right. But the truth is, both renders are using the same amount of light objects. The only difference is that the render on the right is using a feature called light linking, which basically allows the light objects to illuminate only selected objects in the scene. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. Now this is a feature that has been introduced in the Blender 4.1, but I think it's still pretty underrated, and I would also bet that a lot of people don't even know about this feature. So let me show you how we can use it. So let's say you have a basic scene setup. You have the background, you have the foreground, you have the base, which in this case is this rock. You have the main element, which in this case is this perfume bottle. And if I enable overlays, you can see that I have a lot of lights that are essentially illuminating the scene. Now, when it comes to a product visualization in 3D, you need to strategically set up the lighting to basically reveal all the necessary details of the product. So, as you can see here, I have a really a lot of light objects, which in this case is actually pretty well done, because you can see the whole bottle, you can see all the details, you can even see the highlights of the edges, because we have a strong backlight. However, the main issue is that all the lights that are illuminating the bottle are also illuminating the environment, and making it so bright, it basically drags the attention from the product. So what we are basically looking for is that we need more lights to actually focus on the product and less lights to illuminate the environment. And for this we can use the light linking feature. So let's say that all these point lights that I have here in the viewport, I would like them to illuminate only the bottle with the cap. So let's select the first point light, then go to the object properties. And if you open the shading tab and also light linking, you will see this button that will basically create a new light linking collection. So let's create a new collection, let's name it Bottle. And now this light object will basically illuminate only the collections or the objects that are basically here in this collection. So if I take this perfume collection and I'm gonna drop it here, now the light illuminates only the objects that are in this collection. I'm gonna disable all the other lights so we can see this. As you can see the perfume collection is enabled, which means that the light is now illuminating only the bottle. However, if I disable the collection, you can see that now the light is illuminating the environment as well. Now, the good thing is that since we already have this collection, we can just apply it on all other point lights. So let's select the second light, let's go to light linking, and since we already have the collection, we can just find it here. So let's find the bottle collection, and once you press enter, it will again only illuminate all the objects that are only in this perfume collection. So let's do the same for the third light, let's add bottle, for the next one, for the next one, for the next one, and also for the last point light. And now as you can see, all the point lights are basically illuminating the bottle only, and only these two spotlights are basically illuminating the ground, which effectively draws the attention to the bottle. Now, since I'm using a volume to create that cool intersection light effect, as you can see here, normally the volume will be interacting with all the lights that are available in the viewport. However, if I select any of these point lights, you can see that the volume is not in the light collection, therefore it's not interacting with the light. Now, if I go to the camera view, you can see that the render looks definitely more aesthetic. However, the problem right here is the spot lamp, because since it is located in the frame, we can basically see where the light source is starting, which is something that I don't want to have in my render. The second spotlight, which is right here, is cool, because it's located outside of the frame, but I don't want this spotlight to interact with the volume. So let's select this spotlight, let's go to light linking, and for this one I'm gonna make a separate collection. I'm gonna name it Spotlight. And because I want the spotlight to interact only with the bottle, I'm going to add the perfume collection, and I'm gonna add the collection where the rock is. And as you can see the light is no longer interacting with the volume, because the volume is simply excluded from the collection. And that is basically all that I wanted to share with you today. I just wanted to let you know that this feature exists because it really simplifies the whole lighting process in Blender, because if this feature wasn't available, you would need to break down the render into the separate layers, and then combine them together in the compositor, and it would be just a really complicated process. Thanks for watching, check out my ShadeGuard library, which is a material pack for Blender with over 80 materials that are fully procedural and made in Blender. You can customize any material, you can make infinite variations, and you can even animate your materials and effects. If you are interested, is the first link in the description, subscribe, follow and comment any ideas, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. See ya!